Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. Okay, um, as you can see, I have my um, fancy panel um, pinned to my pattern piece and I have mostly cut it out. Um, now, if you'll notice on either side, um, I did not cut the little curve of the armhole opening. I simply drew that edge with my blue fabric marking pen. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make an entredeau seam um, up at the shoulders. So let me move my yoke piece off to the side for, me because, for a minute because I don't need it right now. And let me unpin my pattern piece from the fancy lace panel. Let me move both pieces of entredeau off to the side real quickly. Okay, and there's my pattern piece. I don't need it any longer. Okay, so what I'm going to do with one of my pieces of entredeau is I'm going to pin it to the shoulder seam. Now I pin this rather than just holding it into place uh, because lace has a tendency to stretch um, and I want it, I mean, because if you pull it, it'll stretch. Uh, but if, but if you just kind of hang on to it, it doesn't stretch. Okay, so let me put a couple of pins in here. And then with a straight stitch, we'll sew this entredeau to both of the little shoulder seams. I think I'll go ahead and pin both little so shoulder seams while I'm doing this. Let me get my other pieces of piece of entredeau. Okay, one more pin. There. Okay, now let me zoom in over here at the sewing machine. And with a straight stitch, sewing right to the right of the entredeau ladder, I'm going to sew this entredeau to the fancy lace panel. Taking my pins out as I come to them. one done. Clip my threads and sew the other one and then I'll go to the ironing board and I'll press this entredeau seam toward the inside of the bodice. Okay, now let me go to the ironing board, and what I'll do is I will press this entredeau seam toward the inside of the bodice, and then we'll come back and zigzag. So I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I have that um, entredo seam pressed towards the inside. So let me set my machine to a zigzag in the appropriate stitch length and stitch width for sewing entredo. And then what I'll do is I'll catch the fold of the lace panel on the left and go in the entredo hole on the right. seam and I've got to do the other seam Okay, now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use my specialty scissors that have the double bend in them. And from the back side, I'm going to trim that entredo seam close to the zigzag line. And these scissors with their rounded blunt tip um, are specially made for doing this because the blunt tip will not go through the lace and potentially cut your lace while you're doing this. Just cl close to the zigzag line without actually cutting the zigzag. These pieces of entredo are a little bit thick to cut through, but they're doable. Okay, and let me do the other one. And what I'll do is down in the video description, um, I'll put a link where you can order a pair of these scissors because they are not available in the big box stores, but they're just perfect for doing lace work. And if you don't already have a pair, I would highly recommend that you get yourself a pair. Okay, now I need to unpin my back yoke or back bodice piece. Okay, 
Okay, and one side at a time, I'm going to pin this to the entredeau. And then we'll use a straight stitch again and sew this, sew the first pass of the entredeau seam. And pin the other one. Okay, now I've got my machine set back for a straight stitch again. So I will sew these, the first pass of the entredeau seam with a straight stitch. Okay, now I've got one more to sew on this side and then I will go to the ironing board and I will press that seam toward the back yoke so that I can come back and zigzag. But let me finish this and get to the ironing board and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got one seam zigzag and trimmed using my specialty scissors again. So I still have my machine set for a zigzag. So let me zigzag the other entredeau seam. Once again, catching the fold of the fabric on the left. use my specialty scissors one more time and trim this other entredeau seam. Just trim it close to the zigzag line from the back side. Okay, and once again, I will put a link down below where you can order some specialty scissors if you need to. But um, here we go. We've got the bodice, um, front and back bodices sewn together with an entredeau seam at the shoulder, which makes for a pretty little look. And I still have not trimmed um, this curve of the sleeve. Um, where the armhole is going to go. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an entredeau seam um, when I sew the sleeve in. So I'm just going to leave that um, at the entredeau line right there. Okay. All right. So like in the next video, we will create the little neckband um, with entredeau and gathered lace. 
Um, and, um, and that's that. Okay, so thank you.